up. I'm going to try and uh, have a go at replicating the Hartman uh, motor. I don't know if anyone else has tried it. But uh, a few thoughts spring to mind straight away. <clears throat> the first is keep friction to uh, minimum. Because although that simulation says there's a net torque in one direction, uh, chances are it's wrong. <clears throat> it's only been done in two dimensions and not three. So um, although the computer says that there's a net torque, chances are there won't be one. But anyway, we'll see what we can find. First thing is I decided we're going to get rid of bearings, conventional bearings, because with two uh, big magnets on uh, either side of the rotor, uh, you're going to get lots and lots of bearing drag. So you just cannot have conventional uh, bearings in there, not to mention the fact that they, they're full of friction. Here we've got uh, a little prototype of a, um, a magnetic bearing set up. Here we've got two, a ring magnet at the top and uh, another ring magnet at the bottom there with no, no contact between the two. So, and uh, it's hovering up against that nitride ball there, silicon nitride ball, for a very, very low friction. Uh, the rotor itself, in this particular example, weighs under, uh, well, weighs about 45 grams and uh, spins very nicely. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two microwave magnets, one at the top there and one at the bottom, and uh, slap some magnets on the rotor and see if we can get something to work. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? 